I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. Checking on the record setting wildfires burning in our state, the Cambered Peak Fire grew to more than 208,000 acres, now 61% contained. The East Troublesome Fire scorched more than 192,000 acres, is only 10% contained. Fire crews are facing huge challenges. You'd think a big snowfall would be nothing but good news for firefighters, but emergency managers say it's more complicated than that. We are going to have to watch the snow this afternoon. You know, we've got fire trucks out on highways, and that's just something we have to be aware of. Where can we work safely and not, not end up with somebody down a steep grade or something that we can't get back out of? With temperatures in some areas expected to plunge to 6 degrees on Sunday night, crews have to take extra precautions to stay warm, to stay safe on steep terrain, and to make sure water-carrying equipment does not freeze. Coronavirus cases are rising sharply here in Colorado. Our state reported 1,580 new cases Saturday, but the total jumped by 109 more as state health staff added in numbers that were not properly reported this month. The number of hospital beds in use by positive COVID-19 patients or those who are suspected of having it stands at 586. That number is down from yesterday, up from last month, still below the peak of nearly 1,300 that we saw, saw near the start of the pandemic. Stacey Donaldson's here with a check of our forecast. Well, it will continue to snow and be cold in through the next 24 hours. Our winter storm warning in effect here for the Front Range and the high country through Monday morning. And also our wind chill factors still feeling like they're below zero. And that'll be the case all the way through tomorrow morning as well. So keep that in mind and stay bundled up. As for our high on Monday, it'll only be 19 degrees. It's still an action day for snowfall. That will start to clear later in the afternoon. And once the sun comes out, it really warms us up through the rest of the week. We'll have 61 by Friday and 63 by Saturday afternoon with sunny skies on the way. And this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.